I just made a video a couple days back detailing how badly Game 1 of the World Series was called, before at the end of it professing a hope that future games would be better. And while Andy Fletcher certainly did a much better job than Carlos Torres, only missing 4 calls throughout all of Game 2, Game 3's home play dump would take things all the way to another level of incompetence, not only missing 12 calls in one game that was close all the way through it, with a final score of just 4-2, to two, but also missing a couple calls in pivotal moments of the contest. As we did in the last one, let's recap each major call in the order in which they happened, starting first with this abhorrent called strike on Mookie Betts. But just as he gave NY a strike, he would take one away, calling this 1-2 pitch to Betts a ball when the entire thing was fully in the strike zone. After a Freddie Freeman blast, he would then call this 0-1 to Max Muncy a strike, netting him his third missed call of just the top of the first inning. But believe me, if you thought that was bad, ready yourself. That wouldn't even be the most amount of missed calls he would have in a single frame. In the second, he'd call another cutter well out of the strike zone versus Kike Hernandez before doing the same thing in the bottom of the inning to Anthony Volpe. I guess you could say at least he's consistent. He would miss another borderline cutter the next inning, this one that ran high versus Max Muncy with two on and two outs, before making what was, up to this point, the most consequential call of the game, calling another cutter that missed well out of the strike zone away a strike. On a 3-1 count no less. This would lead to the Dodgers being robbed of a run after Smith grounded out to end the inning. But don't feel bad for them just yet, as before this game would end, they would certainly receive some favorable calls in big spots as well. But it would not be in the bottom of the third, when Walker Buehler got squeezed on this strike that was painted over the low and outside corner, with Nestor Cortez in the following frame not having this borderline pitch called, even though Fox Track said that it was a strike, though I will acknowledge this was more borderline than nearly any of his other misses. To his credit, he wouldn't miss anything major for the next couple of frames, before he called this slider that was high and away to Gavin Lux a strike, and then this sinker that was perfectly painted over the low and outside corner again, a ball. But all these missed calls up to this point were honestly just a prelude to the objectively horrifying job that he would turn in in the seventh inning, when he missed four separate pitches, starting with this sinker that was well away to Mookie Betts that robbed the Dodgers of a one-out walk, before in the bottom of the inning, calling this pitch well away to Rizzo a strike, then missing this 3-0 pitch to Verdugo that gave the Yankees a walk. But right after he had just gifted them a ball, he would brutally end the inning on his single worst call of the entire night, on a pitch that missed by almost two full ball lengths above the strike zone, literally outright ending a Yankees rally that could have seen them narrow the score. In a World Series game, that's just inexcusable. He would then rob the Dodgers of their own strike in the bottom of the eighth, though not nearly as consequentially, when he called this pitch that was way away to Gavin Lux. And then, on his final missed call of the night, called this strike a ball versus Rizzo, though again this pitch was a bit more borderline than many of the others. Regardless, in a contest that ended up being decided by just two runs, Mark Carlson left his mark on the outcome of this game multiple times, which as a home plate umpire should never be what happens, or at least very sparingly. Another embarrassing performance by a major league ump on the biggest stage possible. With performance after performance like this, the question has to be asked, how much longer will major league baseball put up with this stuff?